What's up guys, Psychopoco here, bringing you another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. For this we'll be going over Coliseum, Pedro, and my multiple team compilation guide, as well as a guide giving you some of the details of what the Coliseum unit does, and a little bit about what uh, each stage does on the Coliseum. Pedro Coliseum is one of the most difficult Coliseums in the entire game, so if you are not prepared for this Coliseum, I actually spent a lot of time making teams for this because it's a very, very difficult Coliseum. If it's your first time here, make sure you guys hit the like button down below, as well as the subscribe button down below, so we get lots of support in the channel, and of course, keep the channel growing. If you guys do want to get notifications on all my videos, Videos, make sure you hit the bell notification right next to it so you get notifications every time I drop a video. Without further ado, let's go into Pedro and talk about why he's awesome. So the first thing about Pedro is he is going to be a Cerebral and Shooter unit. Uh, Pedro is going to have max out with four combo hits and four sockets. He is going to have a, his, a captain ability that's going to boost the attack of Cerebral characters by 2.5 and makes Psy and Imp orbs beneficial for Cerebral characters. Overall, as a captain ability, that's a very, very strong captain ability for a free-to-play unit. So if you are in need of a free-to-play Cerebral captain, he is an amazing free-to-play Cerebral captain. His special ability is going to reduce the current, current HP by 95%. Super, super good for cerebral teams. A lot of them, they are HP based teams. It's going to deal 50 times characters attack damage in typeless damage to all enemies that will ignore damage negating abilities and barriers. So if they have percent damage reduction or if they have damage cap or if they have any barrier, it's going to go through those barriers. When you get this character to max level, he's going to hit his AOE for 70,000 damage, which would be 70,700 damage. And when you get this guy to and when you get this character to max limit break as well as max candies, he's going to do a maximum of about 85,000 damage that goes through barriers. This is a really, really strong ability. Uh, there are only a few characters in the entire game that have special abilities that go through damage negating abilities and barriers. So it's a very, very strong wave clear as a special. So definitely recommend getting it. And I definitely recommend actually getting cotton candies in this character for attack candies as well as limit breaking this unit. In addition to all that, he is going to boost the color affinity of cerebral characters by 1.75 for two turns. This is actually a really, really amazing change for cerebral units because cerebral to this point didn't really have a color affinity user besides the thick Shigi unit or quick Shigi. She was a really, really low um, damage unit, and she provided some utility to the team, but really had low damage and didn't provide enough to the team for you to bring her for a lot of content. Seeing so how this unit will reduce your HP, do a wave clear, and on top of that, will give you a color affinity boost is way better than Thick Shiggy. Super, super great unit. Very good free to play unit, but is extremely hard to farm. To evolve this unit, you're going to need a uh, sea lion as well as the yellow, uh, yellow lobster, the yellow dragon, the yellow crab and the rainbow crab to evolve and let's go ahead and evolve him to see his evolved art bam can't really see it fully but because i suck and i can't position things right oh there's pedro when you max limit break this unit you get an extra 75 attack as well as 100 hp you're gonna get an additional socket and minus two cooldown which is actually very very good for most coliseum units you're gonna get two sailor abilities the first of which you know two sailor abilities which are gonna help cerebral units out which is very very good overall pedro as a unit is an extremely strong unit so if you can farm him i definitely recommend farming him he's a really really good unit to farm very very strong unit overall for your cerebral teams if you are looking for cerebral lead he's probably one of the best if not the best free to play cerebral lead in the entire game all right guys well my name is Kapoko. i will see you guys in the teams okay so for this coliseum this is probably the most difficult coliseum in the entire game Coliseum Pedro is an amazing unit, however his Coliseum is stupid hard. There are a lot of mechanics that make this really, really difficult. The first off is in, in room 3 we have Carrot uh, with 625,000 HP and Chopper with 825,000 HP. The preemptive that's going to come out is going to knock out one of your bottom 4 characters for one turn. It's also going to take Strength Orbs and reduce the chance of them appearing for 5 turns, bind Strength characters for 5 turns, which is also annoying, and it's going to, uh, they're going to heal for 120,000 every turn for 20 turns. When they both attack you, it hits for about 9,000 damage. So it's not overly terrible, but it is kind of annoying. So you will have to deal with that. Um, if you get Chopper below 50%, he is going to enrage, hit you for about 13, 14,000 damage and give you all bomb orbs. Uh, he, now if Chopper has a weird mechanic, so if you get him below 50%, it's actually before the heal, uh, he'll enrage, not after the heal. So don't think you can get him below 50% and then he'll heal back up over. He'll actually go, he'll actually kill you by doing that. So just be really, really careful of that. Now, in this Coliseum, I totally mess up on Rune 3, but I still will pull it out. So this team is actually really safe because you, if you mess up on this team, you still live. Oh my god, it's amazing. 
Um, this room here, in room two, you're gonna have air guys in the back. Those uh, the green guys will poison you. The guys in the front will bind you for five turns. The two on turn on one, you get the two despair ladies in the front. They will despair you for five turns. So uh, as far as the fodder stages go, they're pretty simple. You just go through them and you're easy. So now we're gonna get bound by carrot and chopper here, really really quickly. And they're gonna you can see the bind and the knockouts. Now the knockout can be the same a strength character, so you don't have to worry that they might be different there. It might be a little bit interesting. So. Yeah, it's definitely a little tricky. Um, the main crux of this Coliseum is gonna be in the next room, which is gonna be turn four. But this part right here, uh, there are a couple ways of getting through it. If you have a bind remover, you can use it here. Um, you'll see I use a couple different teams to get rid of the bind. Uh, one of the, Most of the teams, I don't bring strength units so that I don't have to deal with the bind at all. But some teams I do bring strength units, so I do have to deal with it in some way. So this team uh, does pull it out pretty well, but every unit on this team is required. I was trying to find substitutes for anything, and it's really hard. You, there's like none, no substitutes at all. This team, I don't think. I think maybe the G4 is the only character I can take out, and you can put somebody else in. But you'd have to like really work around how you want to do that. Uh, his color affinity becomes really, really helpful for the next room here. Now you can see here where I actually mess up, and I I actually hit a tap. Uh, I tap the. Uh, the Rizo a little bit early and I didn't hit the perfect, but I'll take the extra hit from Chopper here, which will hit me for uh, 14,694 uh, with damage reduction that's 13,680, so don't have enough damage reduction on this team, so it hits me a lot harder. It's about 15, I think. 15,000? All said and done. Um, so you can still survive it. Now going into the next room, you need to have at least 5,000 HP. I'm uh, sorry, not 5,000 uh, 5, HP after the HP cut. When you get into the room with Jinbei, he's an initially can HP cut you for 50%, have delay immunity. Uh, he is also going to silence all your characters for four turns and give you attack down for three turns. Uh, below 60%, he is going to uh, give you a 40% HP cut. What I'm doing here is I'm healing up a little bit with the meat orb that I got super lucky with, but if you don't get the meat orb, you're not supposed to need one because you're able to kill Chopper in one turn. I just messed up. Um, Jimmy has 2.75 million HP, and this team just barely clears this room perfectly. So what we're going to do here is Rizo, who's going to get rid of all of our um, silence in here. You're going to use G4 for orb manipulation, which is super weird, but you really only need... Um, if you get five matching orbs, you're set, which I do have five matching orbs here. The only orbs that are not matching are Psy and Int orbs. Every other orb is matching, so you should be okay. You're going to pop all your specials on the Jinbei to make sure you do as much damage to him as possible. And, and then you're going to keep the Barto and the Dofi special for next turn. You're going to start up with whatever character you can first, and then you're going to kill him. And uh, then you're going to start up on the Dof uh, and make sure you end with the Dofumino and the Rayleigh on the Lapins. The reason you want to keep those two Lapins alive is because you want to have overkill damage to kill the final. Final room. So the over the way this team is would work on Pedro. Pedro has 5.9 million HP. His preemptive is going to clear all buffs. You can't bring any three turn buffs into the room. He's actually going to make colored orbs equal badly matching orbs for uh, 99 turns. You will not be able to get orb buffs from natural orbs. Only other way of getting orbs is Shirahoshi and using meat and tandem as matching orbs. He's going to be immune. And he's gonna actually give you a 200,000 death hit. So there's a lot of mechanics on him that just make him super, super annoying. And no one wants to do this Coliseum for that reason. He's gonna blind every two turns for one turn. And give it, every two turns, he's gonna attack up for 50%. And below 30% HP, he's gonna damage nullify for two turns. Below 20% HP, he kills you. So this is gonna be my team for uh, the Pedro Coliseum. Probably one of my farming teams. I'm not sure if he's this team or another team, but we'll see as we go. All right, guys. Well, I will see you in the next team. So this next team is going to be a Nekomamushi team um, that Cortana told me to try out, and I just like, he had a version of it that I didn't really have, uh, so I had to change it up and use a couple different units. And uh, the MVP of this team is going to be the TS Nami. TS Nami is here to bring a. Um, uh, silence remover, which is really really nice for this Coliseum, and then Shirohoshi is another MVP for this Coliseum because she gives you rainbow orbs. And the, thing, the reason rainbow orbs are super super helpful for this Coliseum is because when you get to the final stage, rainbow orbs are one of the only orbs in the entire game that are going to be actually considered beneficial or matching orbs. And Definitely a really, really difficult Coliseum because of that mechanic. Uh, we're bringing Whitebeard because he's Int and a 2 times orb booster, and we're also bringing uh, the Int Aokiji because also he's Int and a 2 times orb boost. So that's really, really nice. I'm going to use a Neko special on Jinverse, and then we're just going to kill all the adds, take a hit, and then kill him. OK, 
Okay, we want to kill him over like four turns. Uh, I don't want to get him below 50 this turn. And I'm hoping... What we're going to do is... Shit, you know what? I'm, I'm totally screwed, aren't I? Can I... I guess I could Rainbow Orb and then Aokiji Special. And then lock my orbs and then go into the room, you know what I mean? Because he can't shuffle my Rainbow Orbs. But then I would only have Orb Boost to try to kill him. That's also rough. This is a very, very annoying fight. Alright, let's see how it is next turn. Alright, if I have yellow orbs here, we might be able to kill him. Oh, dude, maybe. Maybe. I think she's boosted, right? So 14. So she does 74,000. He does... How much? 80,000. Okay, so... With the attack down gone, I think I'll be able to kill him. I am very, very hopeful. Here we go. Oh, yeah, we got him. Nice. Nice. Oh, finally! Holy shit, this is inconsistent. But man, we actually got to the final boss. Okay, so we are on the final boss. He removes all your buffs. He is going to do a bunch of other things. And, it's, and he makes all colored orbs badly matching. So the Shirohoshi is here to give us all matching orbs and rainbow orbs. Heal us up to full. We use Aokiji to, do, uh, to get a type boost. And we use Whitebeard to get an orb boost. We have two times orb boost type boost. We use the ship special so that we don't die uh, on the death hit. Here we go. Hopefully I don't die. Yes. Okay. So now we have the ship special which will cap damage at 10k, supposedly. Supposedly. <laughs> Yay! Ha! <sighs> Finally beat it. Okay, we beat it for once. Holy crap, that was annoying. All right, guys, well, I will see you in the next team. So this team we're going to be going over is a V2 Dofi team. Uh, this team is really, really strong for this content if you're able to get good orb manipulation, which this team kind of gets good orb manipulation just because of the passives. And uh, you're going to 100% need the new uh, Swimsuit Perona as well as the new Barto. You cannot use uh, the side Barto. You have to use strength Barto on this team. Um, the next part about this team is you're going to need... Uh, you don't need Psy Cavendish and Pika. Pika helps a lot because you use a bind remover and you can the Cavendish is orb and type boost, so that's really, really nice. But you're going to probably want to kill just one of the Lapins on stage four, and then you're going to take a hit on, on the second turn with Perona and be able to get it go in. You can leave two of them up if you if it's possible, but most of the time you're going to kill one and, and try to get that. Um, okay, so we're here. We're going to use Cavendish. Um... And we're gonna use the the ship, and then we're gonna use Dofi, Dofi. Oh man, this is gonna be close. Yeah, good thing we uh, we overkilled that. Okay, so that is three and a half million, probably about two and a half million overkill, probably, <laughs> probably, <laughs> probably two and a half million overkill. I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's 2.5 million overkill. If not, we're in uh, we're in deep doo doo. So we're use Barto, Dovi. Oh thank God, it was way more than enough. Cool, cool. All right, so we found a team. We found our farming team. Oh my God, that's close. Jeez, that is so close. That is stupid close. Finally, we figured out the VT Dovi team. Holy crap, that took forever. I think I'm gonna take out the Pika and then put in somebody else to make that a little bit closer. Not sure who I'm gonna use, but we'll figure it out as we go. Definitely much better. Definitely much better. I I like Dofi with the you have to have Legend Barto. There's no there's no bringing anybody else. You have to bring Legend Barto. There's no other sub uh, because if you try to bring Kobe, you don't have your HP is too low uh, to use the Kobe special. So definitely a. Uh, a, a closer team, but it, it did work out. Um, if you don't get that Psy Orb on Cavendish, then that is not the safest because if you get him, like, if you're not getting the Psy Orb on your burst turn on the Cavendish, you are, you are up 
you were in some deep water there. So I, I might have to take out like Pika and put in like a strength treble or something like that. And, or not strength treble, strength, um, uh, use the Coliseum Enel and then try that out. And then that might be able to get us a little bit closer to not dying there. So it, it's either way, it's still a close team. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go and see what's the best team for that. But there we go. I'll see you guys in the next team. This last team is going to be a double Enel team. And this team is is kind of weird. I'm going to definitely need a level 3 damage reduction for here if you're going to get Jinbei below 60%. Um, we were trying to see what the threshold was. And you can see Jin I get Jinbei to about 60%. And he actually HP cuts me, which I was very surprised about. Um, but you can see with level 3 damage reduction and 15,305 HP, I barely survive. So definitely a really, really close team. Not my favorite team, but it does work if you have all the sockets and the candies appropriately. Um, the Wild Luffy is not 100% needed, but I do use him right here on stage 3 to get rid of the bind on, um, on a white beard if you needed to as well as shuffle your orbs into matching orbs so the white beard doesn't always get knocked out you might get another unit knocked out if you want to remove the bind as well as shuffle your orbs it's really helpful but you can use a different unit you don't have to bring the wild luffy you can use something else to help you on stage four instead of something to help you on stage three i like to help you on stage three because i was actually really nervous the first time i went through wasn't sure this one to clear it and you can use a different unit instead and it might actually be a little bit more useful well i'm not really sure what you're going to try to do but wild luffy is is definitely replaceable the nami is not replaceable whitebeard i do not believe is replaceable um but the thing is what i'm doing is i'm using this the striker ship and the reason the striker ships here is so it can actually survive the death hit if you wanted to use a different ship like a whitebeard ship instead then you can do that but the barto ship is actually what helps me survive here um, shirahoshi is definitely needed because you need to get the um the heal but you could actually use marco if you like too as well but i'd say shirahoshi's a lot hp cut when you go in the room i can't remember i don't think he does okay so we are on the final boss. We are going to use the ship. We're going to use Wyvern Special and then double and all. And that's it, right? And then I'm going to go in. And that's all she wrote. Cool. And there is the double and all clear for this place. This place sucks! <laughs> this place sucks. Alright guys, well, um, that's going to do it for the, the teams we're doing tonight. My name is Sekapoko. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you hit the like button down below, as well as the subscribe button down below. So we get lots of support on the channel, and towards keep the channel growing. If you guys do want notifications on all my videos, make sure you guys hit the bell notification right next to it, so you get notifications every time I drop a video. Have a great day, guys. Peace.